64 kilometers from Chamba district in Himachal Pradesh lies Bharmaur, the land of the Gaddis. Bharmaur is also known as the Gadderan. The steep, rocky terrain of Gadderan is crisscrossed by the Ravi River and its tributaries. The area is blessed with three ecological zones, subtropical grazing lands of the lower hills, sub-temperate to temperate pastures of the middle hills, and lush alpine pastures of the higher hills. These make it the perfect habitat for the transhuman agro-pastoral Gaddi community. The Gaddis and Lord Shiva share a long mythical past. Legend has it that Shiva tested the loyalties of various communities towards herding of livestock. Only the Gaddis proved themselves worthy. Convinced, Shiva gave them his own garb of Chola, Topa and Dora to fend off the extreme cold. and gave them flocks of sheep and goat to herd for a living. The sleepy village of Daswa, nestled in Punjab, is the winter home of the Gaddis. In winters, the extreme cold and scarcity of fodder make it necessary for the herds to migrate to the Trakar pastures or village fields in Daswa. It is a symbiotic relationship between the migrating Gaddis and the farmers of Daswa. While one gets a comfortable, safe environment to tide through harsh winters, the other looks forward to their lands being made fertile by good quality manure that the herds leave behind as droppings. Each day, under the watchful eye of the Gaddi dog, the newborn kids are left behind in straw enclosures while the adults are taken to neighboring pastures to graze. Late in the afternoon, when the mothers return, the young kids happily run to them. The Gaddis rear the Gaddi and Tampur Bushehri breeds of sheep, which are considered to be the best producers of quality wool in the country. As the winter stay comes to an end, the Gaddis undertake the laborious task of sharing the wool for sale. Sometimes it is done by machine, sometimes manually using traditional shears. Once the buyers are satisfied, the deal is usually sealed between 50 to 60 rupees per kilogram. They value their sheep and goats so much that their lives revolve around the care of livestock. To the extent of adopting their lifestyle, they move when the livestock moves. They rest when the livestock rests. It is the month of March. The snow begins to melt fast and the mountains beckon. 
the huts now bear a desolate look as naseeb singh chanalu gathers all his belongings hoists them onto his shoulders and sets out towards the upper reaches with the herds of sheep and goat the herds next stop is kangra they will have to travel through several forest tracks and the busy dharamshala road the herds constantly pause to graze the herders sit by waiting patiently after a 10 day walk as the herds arrive in kangra almost as a rule the men leave their backpacks in the fields with their livestock before they head home it's true and they must leave their families behind but asking a gaddi to choose between his livestock and his own children is like asking any other parent to choose between two of his progenies mummy ne bahut mara mujhe bachpan se bahut zyada papa ke aane se matlab hausla sa ban jata tha ek matlab majbooti matlab aa gaye papa aisa soch ke काफ़ी बुरा लगता है कि हमारा ट्रेडिशन ख़त्म हो रहा है धीरे धीरे युवा पीढ़ी इस काम को नहीं करना चाहती है क्योंकि अभी सभी वेल एजुकेटेड हो रहे हैं सभी पढ़ाई लिखाई करके थोड़ा मतलब नौकरी वोकरी कर रहे हैं तो ऐश आराम की ज़िंदगी चाहते हैं सभी जैसे हमारे दादा परदादा की आपने बात की है वो टाइम कुछ और था सर अनपढ़ था वो बेकार थे वो भेड़ बकरी के साथ चल पड़ते थे अब ऐसा टाइम आ गया पढ़ लिखे गए हर कोई लोग तो वो मतलब अपना कोई छोटा मोटा धंधा कर रहे हैं तो इस काम में कोई देखभाल नहीं कर रहा है जिस टाइम हमारे बुजुर्ग इस धंधे को करते थे उस टाइम घास था अच्छा घास था जड़ी बूटियाँ भी नहीं थी उस टाइम वो आजकल लो कंडे वाली बूटी बूटा चल पड़ा उससे गद्दी तंग हो रही है सौ बाल वो बूटी खींच रही है तो इनका बड़ा नहीं तो इनका पचास ग्राम खून क्या वो निकलेगा ही निकलेगा तो इसने कहाँ से बना गेटिंग रेड ऑफ दिस लैंटना ग्रास विच इज डिस्ट्रॉइंग अ फॉरेस्ट सो दिस इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम फॉर द गदीज इफ देर इज नो ग्रास देर इज नो शीप गवर्नमेंट सोचती है चलो चलता है चलने दो ऐसे उसने तो जंगल में कोई मजूर ला के वहाँ तो उसको उखाड़ना तो लगाना नहीं और बकरी का खाने वाला घास तो लगाना नहीं उसने पाँच साल बंद कर देना और रकबा पाँच साल हमारी छुट्टी साल में हम भी खाते गोइंग फॉरवर्ड हु कैन टेल हाउ लॉन्ग द गदीज विल बी एबल टू सस्टेन दर ट्रेडिशनल ऑक्यूपेशन for gaddis new dawns herald new journeys having enjoyed a short stay with the family nasib knows when it is time to move he gathers his flocks and they set out in the direction of bohar jhot hum bachpan mein school mein padhte the aur daddy ke sath jaate the daddy mere jo hai the safa lagate the aur chodu dora aur chamde ke jute आजकल जो चमड़े के जूते वो मिलते नहीं हैं और एक ही पट्टू से इसको बोलते हैं हम गरुड़ू गरुड़ू से गुजारा कर लेते थे वो आजकल जो है जमाना ऐसा आ गया है ना वो गदी के पास चौड़ा है ना डोरा है सीधा कोट और टोपी लगाते हैं द इकोनॉमी ऑफ द गदीज रन बाय सेलिंग अ फ्यू हेड ऑफ लाइफ स्टॉक फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम दिस ब्रिंग्स इन द मच नीडेड कैश Soon after the herds leave Kangra they are approached by Kashmiri traders who buy some sheep Earlier the gaddis used to barter their livestock in exchange for rations while passing through the various villages but now their business has grown considerably 
and buyers approach them from as far off as the Kashmir Valley. <laughs> the long negotiation ends with the deal being sealed at about 5,000 to 6,000 rupees per sheep. The price depends on the age and quality of livestock. Sometimes the traders may haggle over the prices and the gaddis settle for a few hundred rupees more. This may not seem fair, but the gaddis are content, knowing that they will be back next year to buy more. The herd continues on its journey, traversing roads, forests and crossing rivers. On the way, they make a brief halt at Banala. The sale of livestock continues. For easy recognition, many buyers mark their purchase by sharing a small patch of wool. Experience over generations has taught them that by maintaining a certain number of livestock, their business will run smoothly. So each year, the Gaddis only sell as many sheep or goats as the number of healthy live birds that year. A new addition to the herd now means Naseeb has one more responsibility. Since the tough onward journey would threaten its survival, Naseeb chooses to sell it off. Transhuman pastoralism demands great care for the environment. No infection must be carried to the pristine Himalayas, for the wild sheep, goat and other animals could fall sick and die. So, when they are about to enter the higher reaches, as a precautionary measure, the State Department of Animal Husbandry gives the herds a disinfecting bath. The herds and the environment are now safe. Different Gaddis follow different routes, which are the family's cultural legacy. This system ensures that no one area bears the burden of providing for all the herds that set out each year. The next morning, the herd witnesses a changing landscape. The magnificent yet treacherous Dholadhar range presents itself in the distance. The herd is headed there, passing through Kharana, Ludhari and Grani. Gatti share a beautiful relationship with their livestock and it is a common sight to see them carrying their young or sick sheep and goats. अच्छा जंगल तो हमारा दिल बहुत खुश होता है। हमारा माल आज आ है। हमने डट के घी के साथ खा लिया ना, तो हमारा मन बोलेगा आज यार हमने घी के साथ खाया। ज़्यादा हम खाएंगे नमक के साथ, तो हमारा दादा बात ये होना यार आज खाना ही नहीं मिला मैं नमक के साथ मिला। इन बकरियों के आज 20 किलो � the dense forests of Himachal Pradesh are full of wild animals. The livestock being herded by a handful of men and one shaggy sheepdog are easy prey.
जैसे काला बीर है ब्राउन बीर है जितना पड़ेगा दस पीस खस जाएगा वो हम बोलेंगे कि हमारा एक तरह नुकसान हो गया तो गवर्नमेंट बोलेगी नहीं फोटो लो दो दिन लगा के आएंगे कहाँ रिपोर्ट देंगे कि पटवारी के पास प्रधान के पास जब वापस जाएगा तो गीत वगैरह वो खा के खाली खलास बोल दे मौके पर कुछ नहीं पाया Each day is a struggle. The terrain is difficult, the backpacks heavy. Even the rations need to be carried. Untouched by the cares of the world, the Gaddis are wanderers in the true sense of the word. In the Indian Himalayas, pastoralism is largely transhuman, which means there is movement of herds in a vertical space to exploit the seasonal availability of pastures at different altitudes. Struggling for days through steep slopes, rocky gorges and scrubby forests, the herd finally arrives at Bohar Jod. a fixed old moraine of a glacier in the dholadhar range suddenly the landscape changes and the tall trees give way to rolling alpine meadows which is what brings the gaddis here on the way to bharmar the herd leaves bohar behind as man and livestock scale through loose rocky mountains at rock भेड तो बेचने पड़ेगी अगर कोई जैसे अब हमारे को पहले नौकरी मिल जाते थे भेड बकरी चराने वाले मिल जाते थे वो प्रोजेक्ट में काम लग रहे हैं निरेगा लग रही है तो बोलते हैं बाहर जाके बारिश में कौन बेगेंगे इतने जो जोत है पास से कौन क्रॉस करेगा रावी के किनारे किनारे मक डाली है जो मलबा जो डिस्पोजल मज मलबा डाला हुआ है तो हमारी भेड़ बकरी जो जाती है उनके लिए पानी भी नहीं रहा जाने के लिए जगह नहीं रही नीचे हर जगह हमें दिक्कत आ रही है भेड़ बकरी वालों को चोई में हमारे पचास घर थे आज कल घर है पहले तो हमारा वो अड्डे से लेकर ऊपर तक सचोई से आ हाफ तक गांव ही नहीं था आज तक और सचोई और अड्डा बराबर हो गया मकौता और सचोई बराबर हो गया पहले गैप होता था कितना तो दिन पर दिन आबादी बढ़ रही है हम भी खत्म वो जंगल भी खत्म इट इज समाइम्स सनी समाइम्स मिस्टी and sometimes rainy in this beautiful region under the open sky little can be done except to bide the storm on the leeward side of a mountain or at times just set it out saab bakri kahan hai ab 4-5% logon ke paas bakri hai kahan churayenge niche sardi mein jaate hain wahan churane ko jagah nahi hai परिवर्तन ऐसे आ गया आबादी बढ़ गई उसको चारा गा नहीं रहा उसको कहा घास देंगे घास खत्म हो गया कभी जमाने में था कभी सौ साठ पचास साठ साल पहले जो जंगल खुले थे तो वो चुराते थे लोग अपना गुजारा कर लेते थे अब क्या हाल कुछ नहीं बकरी तो एक खाली नाम का नाम रहेगा ब्रेविंग बैड वेदर द हर्ड अराइव एट भर मॉर where there are several gaddi villages like malkota for the wandering gaddis these mid altitude villages are home shiv ke laso ke basi dhare dharo ke raje while the men are away for most part of the year the women stay behind caring for the home They spend most of their time spinning yarn from wool and weaving it on handlooms. 
Amongst the many items woven by hand is the traditional black and white checkered garudu. This big blanket-like shawl is in use even today because it provides great protection against wind, rain and snow. Gaddi houses are mostly two to three stories high. They are constructed using locally available materials. The house stands as if on a vertical pole and life within it follows an upward-downward movement, much in keeping with the Gaddi way of life. The ground floor is used to house the cattle, while the family occupies the first and second floors. Naseeb has homes both in Kangra and Malkota. His family has travelled up from Kangra to meet him here before he moves on. after enjoying the comforts of home for a few days, Naseeb and his herd need to move again. They must travel further upwards through pine forests to reach Kukti, which is another mid-altitude village. At Kukti, the herds settle in areas around the Karthik temple. With the rolling green pastures in plenty, they will happily graze here for a month. The Gaddis can never be sure about the duration of their hold. It is the sheep and goat who dictate the time. Once the herds are ready to move, they travel through the Kukti Pass to reach Lahol Spiti. where colourful prayer flags welcome them to the land of Buddha. Past the monastery, some of the herds continue trekking upwards despite the harsh environment, while others stay back at Lahol Spiti. वहाँ करते हैं हम तीन महीने, उसके बाद वापस आ जाते हैं। बाया सिंता, बाया राख और ब्रह्मावर में, ब्रह्मावर में हमारा गांव में मतलब घरवार है अपने, परिवार वार हमारा वहीं रहता है। उसके बाद हम जाते हैं कुक्ती, कुक्ती काटते एक महीना, एक महीने काटने के बावजूद उसके बाद इधर आ जाते हैं हम लाल to reach Sarchu. The quest for green pastures ends here at an altitude of 13,850 feet. The herds will stay here at Sarchu for one month. Up amidst the snow-clad mountains are the alpine meadows with sweet, fragrant grass in plenty. This will make any sheep and goat healthy and strong. They will produce more milk and the woolly goat will grow soft and thick.
life at this altitude is extremely tough. The herders must live in temporary camps, which they build by digging pits and piling low walls of rock around the periphery. When the icy winds blow, the rock walls shield them from the winds. With the first hint of the approaching winter, in mid to late August, the herds begin to descend. They must stop at Bharmaur for the Mani Mahesh Yatra. Naseeb is visiting from Malkota with his son. For him, it is a moment of thanksgiving to Lord Shiva on the completion of another successful migration. The Shiv Chelas, or followers of Shiva, sing and dance feverishly until some of them enter a trance-like state where they are said to be possessed by the Holy Spirit. This 10-day long festival happens between Janmashtami and Radhashtami. Thereafter, the Shiv Chelas embark barefoot on their long trek through a rocky, misty terrain. Their destination is the Mani Mahesh Lake. The Gaddis believe that Lord Shiva resides at Mani Mahesh Kailash for six months and then migrates to Pihalpuri, the Netherland, during the winter months. In doing so, he takes away with him all the living creatures and so the Gaddis too migrate. Back at Chaurasi, as Gaddis dressed in their traditional finery, dance to the divine music of drums and cymbals. जो बेड़े जो काम को नहीं करना चाहती है क्योंकि अभी सभी वेल एजुकेटेड हो रहे हैं सभी पढ़ाई लिखाई करके थोड़ा मतलब नौकरी वोकरी कर रहे हैं तो ऐशा राम की जिंदगी चाहते हैं सभी People are going into being doctors, they're going into being engineers and there should be somebody who, who, who has to you know uh, take this profession also to the next level. देखो लॉर्ड से बीच में कितना माल था अब सारा खत्म कर दिया बेच लिया उन्होंने बस ये वही साहब भर मार का हो जाने का दी दस साल पंद्रह के बाद खत्म ही खत्म आई वुड बेसिकली लाइक टू टेल दी यंगर जेनरेशन वन शुड नॉट लीव देयर रूट्स इफ थिंग्स कीप ऑन चेंजिंग लाइक दिस वी विल हैव नो कल्चर यू नो टमोरो डे आफ्टर डाउन द इयर्स वी विल हैव नथिंग It's a fine line between development and the extinction of old communities. As the herds head back towards their winter stay at Daswa, they too must wonder for how many more winters will they get to enjoy the alpine meadows? How much longer will their age-old relationship with the Gaddis last?